How much RAM do you need? Is 16 gigs of RAM enough in 2024? Apple recently released the M4 Max, including the Mac Mini, which at a base price of $599 is a killer deal. That base model comes with a bunch of specs, but very surprisingly, it has 16 gigs of RAM included. And in this video, I'll discuss if 16 gigs is enough to do things like video and photo editing, gaming, and more. I'll also discuss who should avoid 16 gigs of RAM at all costs. You might be surprised at who. As I mentioned, Apple includes 16 gigs of RAM in the $599 base model and for most people that is just fine for everyday tasks so things like browsing the web with 10 to 20 tabs open checking multiple emails watching youtube for example editing excel sheets and more the ram shouldn't fill up too much when doing those things now i have an m1 pro macbook pro and i use it for doing things like editing 4k footage from my sony camera and a little bit more heavy tasks and in fact my workflow was barely impacted by having 16 gigs i'm able to go from lightroom to final cut pro without any annoying spinning rainbows and if budget is an issue 16 gigs is obviously the most affordable option and ideal for those who are looking for performance without spending too much money. Times are hard, it's Christmas, so I feel you. 16 gigs of RAM is more than perfect for everyday users, but surprisingly also for people like me that edit 4K videos and have a bunch of different browser tabs open all at once. Moving on to 24 gigs, this amount of RAM is perfect for those that do a little bit more intensive work. So if you do basic work, just avoid 24 gigs of RAM. If you have longer 4K projects, like 20 minutes plus that are more intensive with lots of transitions, effects, and more, 24 gigs of RAM is for you. But not only that, while editing those 4K videos, you wanna pop over to Chrome and you have 30 tabs open and you're coding a large project, then yeah, 24 gigs is for you because again, it's for those that really multitask a bit more than the average user. It's also great for moderate gamers and also music producers can get away with 24 gigs as well if you're using Logic Pro. Running virtual machines also works good on these machines if you want to run Windows on your M4 Mac Mini. Now for the M4 Mini, 32 gigs is the last option unless you get the M4 Pro Mac Mini. The 32 gigs is where the power users will thrive. Now if you do larger 3D modeling projects in Blender, the 32 gigs is what you need. If you also edit 4K footage with lots of layers, complex color grading, transitions, and titles, then you'll be fine with 32 gigs of RAM as well. It's probably more than what you need. And then if you run multiple virtual machines, process large data sets, or use things like Python, if you have heavy layered projects in Adobe Illustrator, for example, you code with Xcode all the time and more, then 32 gigs is your sweet spot. And obviously it's also a great option for those that have a little bit more room in the budget to spend some more on the Mac mini and kind of want to make this thing last a lot longer than the average user. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.